First off, I would tell them if something else is working for them, let's use cold calling, for example. If they come to me and they say, hey, Jonathan, we don't want to do this because cold calling works so well for us. Um, you know, we don't want to do this. I would tell them, great. I would answer the exact same way as you. However, I would put the social media on what we call our idea or project board, meaning we're doing something that works really well for us. So we're not going to give that up. However, we are going to take the time to learn and to innovate and to grow. So that would be on that list. And the reason that I would tell you to make sure that social media is on your list is because I talk from the the standpoint of the brain and I talk from the standpoint of this is how human behavior works. Why? Because I was an army intelligence officer who understands how human behavior works. When I'm telling somebody facts, when I'm sending them a postcard, when I'm door knocking, when I'm doing anything and talking fact based, I'm only using two portions of somebody else's brain. Okay. Meaning I'm telling you this, I was the greatest listing agent, blah, 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 two portions. When I tell them a story and when I show them a story, I'm now triggering, triggering, excuse me, five portions of their brain. The reason that is so important and the opportunity that people have in front of them through social media is they can tell stories and I believe a great story has a beginning, a middle and an end. They don't need to give the entire story all at once. Social media is the closest thing as opposed to being directly in front of somebody that you can get to tell a story on somebody else's own time, on demand, 24 seven, 365 days a year, you can have a library of your stories. And what happens is when you tell a captivating story, the, the most intriguing part of that is the other person is actually envisioning themselves as a part of the story. Where do I play? How does this affect me? And the moment that you can get your marketing message into their subconscious is the moment that they take action. So, I'm not saying that there's other things that you should drop. I'm not saying that there's other things that you shouldn't do, but if you're hesitant on social media, then you really need to pay attention to what's going on because if not, and what is currently happening is the disruptors will tell the story of how bad you are, of how much you don't work, of why you should use them over you. Right, right or wrong, what they're doing is storytelling through social and it's captivating the audience where they think, well, maybe I don't need a real estate agent. I can just do this on my own. Well, maybe I should do this. And so if you're not in the social game, then you're only hurting yourself and the industry as a whole because you do have a story to tell. Right, wrong, good, bad, ugly, doesn't matter. Your story is not gonna be perfect. That's what resonates with people. Social media gives you that ability. Reality TV is so captivating. Why? Because people envision one of two things. This is this is amazing. I wish I could be just like that person or this is not how it actually works. It actually we actually do this, we actually do that. There's no there's no gray area in the middle. Nobody just watches reality TV just because it was on. They 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 start watching it and they're so ingrained and in and and just captivated in the moment because they're on one end of the spectrum. They're mad because that's not really what we do or I wish I could be just like that person. And social media can do the exact same thing for you. It can grow your business. I know that it can grow your business because over 50% of my business was through social media. And it wasn't through social media like, hey, you know, I'm the best. I do this, I do that, you should use me. It was, hey, I'm just gonna show you exactly what I do. I'm gonna show you the good times, the bad times. I'm gonna tell you when I'm going out with my family. And you have this ability to do it directly on your phone. For free. For free. The so my elevator FBI pitch, company. my elevator pitch, because that was a long elevator pitch, my elevator pitch would be everything that you're doing might be working well, but if you can use three more portions of the brain and get your marketing message into their subconscious, what gets them to take action, would you do it? Most people would say yes. I say, you can do that through social media. Social iPhone. media. Yeah. So awesome. that that's my elevator pitch and that's hopefully a good answer for you. Yeah.